It is 6 a.m. Woke up at 5.40. So now we've been up for an hour. Popper's driving. Good morning. Good morning. And I think it's like about 40 degrees out. Um, just took a shower. My head's wet. So my brain is slightly freezing. But it's okay. Left brain freeze? A little bit. You Scale know what freeze. fucking sucks? The other day we were on JK News and we learned a technique of what to do when you get brain freeze. And I forgot what I was drinking. Oh, yes. Uh, we were at Buca de Pepo and I was drinking a shake or something like that. And I got brain freeze and I forgot what the technique was. Do you remember what it was? No, I have no idea. There's I have supposed none. to be some sort of technique where it's like, I don't know, like you press the roof of her mouth or something like that and then the brain freeze goes away. But I forgot and they're not drinking news. I don't know. I'm not going to interview you because your driving already makes me very uncomfortable and when you talk, you like to make eye contact for what reason, I don't know. Um, so we're just not going to include you in this part of the vlog because hey. you're making me nervous. Anyway, we are on our way to Barbell right now so we can pick up the guys and carpool and make our way up to Big Bear! Yay, Big Bear! Um, and it's really cool because this is our first ever annual company trip. Um, and we hope to do this every year and hopefully we can make it a little bit more, um, Adventurous. I, I was thinking extravagant, but like adventurous. Yeah, every but we're year. not trying to be like Mayweather trying to ball out. We mean extravagant. Like this year, it's more of a humble, cozy cabin. Maybe next year is like Lake Tahoe, or then next year it's just the 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 actual event. Right, right, right. It's bigger. But yeah, you're not, not supposed like, to be in this part of the vlog because you're driving. Fine, I'm sorry. But yeah, extravagant. Um, and, and along the lines of what Bart was saying, yes, we want to make it. Um, where we can give back to the guys that just, you know, contribute and work so hard to make Barbell what it is today. Give them a little paid vacation, you know? Yeah, a little paid vacation. Um, so now we are exiting the freeway and we're going to make our way to our boys and girl, Ren. Ren is joining us as well. Making our way um, downtown. But Ren and Mike are actually going to meet us up there because they're already on the east side. So it'd be dumb for them to make their way out here and then drive out there. So, yeah, everyone's going, um, and it's gonna be awesome. And I can't wait to see one what the what the cabin looks like because I, I it's basically I got it from Home Away, which is basically like an Airbnb. Um, and pictures, you know, they can either um, make things look really really good or they can make things look really really bad. And I'm hoping for the latter. I hope the pictures just didn't do the place justice, but. It says it sleeps, everyone needs to sleep, and it says it's in Big Bear, so I hope it's nice. Big Bear, motherfucker. Weird guy. Here are the little ding dang, ding dong tallywaggers. There's Aaron with the, the hat we got him. There's Brandon. There's Sarah. There's Nadim with his new whip. What? Dang, Nadim! And I think we all called each other and like we dressed the same. Oh my god, and there's people already working out. What am I doing with my life? Damn! I've never seen this much snow in Southern Cali. Or in your whole life? Have you seen more Not snow? like this! This is like some Utah snowboarding snow. This is beautiful. Cause usually like Let's not look at that side, because that side's really uh, no, 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 no. Oh, this, this side, side this side. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Cause usually, usually like it looks it's completely barren and there's a couple patches of snow. All the fake snow. But to see all this snow, this is like commercial for a ski resort. Thank goodness it's been raining this whole week because it made it snow up here. I way. know, look at how beautiful this looks. Holy guacamole. Should we pull over and have a snowball fight? No, the ice is cold. <laughs> <laughs> how pretty. It's all glittery. It's beautiful. Wow, this looks fake. I've never seen Now I understand why this. like when they try to mimic uh, like a uh, like a set or whatever that has snow. Yeah. They make they put glitter and I'm like, why do they put glitter? Oh, they do. Yeah, and I'm like, now I know. This is so beautiful. It's weird because it's still desert. Yes. 
I know it's like a cactus. Yeah. Covered in snow. Like a Joshua tree. Yeah. This is gorgeous. I have never seen this much snow in a Soul Cow area. I know. Perfect timing for us to come. I'm so happy. And it's sunny too. That's a beautiful yeah. thing. It's not like we're in a blizzard. It's sunny. There's a ton of snow. I think the snowboard is going to be awesome today. It's going to be blinding as fuck. What is this? Oh, it's just... All right, so everyone at this point, as you can see, there's a lot of snow on the road, has pulled over and put on their chains. Um, and they usually put on their chains if they don't have all-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive. Or, um, what is chains. it, snow, snow tires, right? Well, you need four-wheel drive with snow tires. That's option A. Or chains, option B. And we have... Neither. <laughs> So it is Nadim, but we have cars full of fat asses and hopefully that extra weight helps push the car to the ground and grip the floor better. Is that is that how it works or are you just kind of hoping? That's the bro science of snow driving. Fuck, this road is crazy. But the good thing is, so I've driven through roads like this in a two wheel drive truck before and I would start fishtailing already. It's actually not bad right now. Like when I'm turning, the there's actually like not a lot of oversteer. So we're actually pretty good and I'm surprised at how well, more so at Nadim's car, because this car is actually heavy because American. He has an import which are stereotypically light, but I think each guy in there is on the verge of 250. So if you have five of them, that's Again, like, the bro science. That's like easily over a thousand pounds extra. Of weight. So, that the, might just help and out. the higher the altitude, the less I see any sort of gravel yeah, on just the floor. A, like there's just a huge layer of snow. But so far, so good. And yesterday, David's like, "Oh, you're going snowboarding?" He's like, "Did you see that you have balding tires?" And I was like, "Oh, really?" He goes, "Yeah. When are you gonna go snowboarding? You should probably get it changed." Then I was like, "Oh, I'm going snowboarding tomorrow. I don't have time to get it changed." He's like, okay, well, good luck. So uh, hopefully the <laughs> balding tires hold up. But the good thing is though, we're not in a blizzard. So we were in a much, much worse situation when Gio was trying to hit at, hit on me. Uh, back in our first Big Bird trip, if you watched that vlog of how me and Gio got together, when, when Gio was trying to seduce me while it was like, all oh, the blizzard was coming down. Um, not, we came up halfway, and then my car was just fishtailing like crazy. We went back down. Was it to like a Walmart? Yeah. We went down to a Walmart to get chains, but it wasn't nice and sunny like this. So while I was trying to put chains on, my fingers were freezing to death, and the snow was just going into every single crack of my coat. And you know where I was? Inside. Hey, I was with you for like a few minutes. Well, that's just because you're trying to spit some game. And, as and as you were trying to spit game. So no. you were like, oh, no, no, baby, go inside. I mean, Gio. Baby, yeah, right. I'd call you baby at that Gio, time. Gio, my friend, who Can't I'm going to pretend like I ain't trying fantasy. to hit on. Yeah, right, You're buddy. You're trying to fantasize that I was the the freaking tow truck porn. Hey, don't make me regret how beautiful I feel this area looks, all right? Don't make me want to vomit. It is beautiful. Oh, cool. If you look in the back, I'm kicking up snow every once in a while. Like when a dog is trying to dig a hole. Should I gas it so you can see more? No. What? Not with your balding tires. Oh, these people are definitely are like hit us. David was saying that the, the wires are coming out of the tires. So Shut might, up, are you serious? That might give extra grip. Oh my Jesus. Because that's like built in snow chains. See, that guy has snow chains and he has a Tacoma. Damn, this is so nice. This is really nice, it's beautiful. Aaron, have you ever seen snow like this? Uh, not in the middle of a desert on the flat part before the mountain, no. <laughs> but, uh... There are evergreen trees, which is weird. It's true, it's like the, the intermediate area of the mountain. That's how retarded California is. It's a desert and then there's like Christmas trees that are naturally growing. I don't know if they're naturally growing. They are. Oh, this shit. is San Bernardino National Forest. What, what, oh shit, what? Since we're going downhill now, Nadim should probably get some more distance between us. Because he's not going to have brakes. <laughs> or hopefully he can put it into like a lower gear. Does he know how to drive that well? I don't know if he's like a professional driver like that. 
This is so beauty. I'll put it in lower gear. That'll help the engine break. Incoming call. Press Uconnect phone button to answer. No, not from Texas. All rejected. Oh, rejected. Yeah, call him Davis, let him know that these driving techniques. Well, here, here, here. Hold on. Do, can you focus on driving? Yeah. Why do you always want to do other stuff when you're driving? Because driving's too easy. You gotta mix it up. Fucking loser. Damn, all these places <laughs> are for sale. Who should I call? Who's who's riding shotgun? Uh, Joe? Joe. Joe. Of Sprack. course. Because he's the big boy. Joe Spracklin. Let me call that guy. It is beautiful. The snow is ridiculous. Is he asleep? Yes, sir. Might want to call Nadim. Nadim was the one that's been calling me. So, Nadim is stuck, and he's holding up all the traffic. Uh, we were. <laughs> A little too brave and we decided to come up here and all these angry snowboarders because Nadim now is blocking everybody. Oh, there we go, Nadim. Oh, no. Oh, did you see all that snow that just fell off that line? <laughs> what are your thoughts? It sucks, man, but, oh well. It's nice out here though. Yeah. Have you ever seen this much snow up no. here? Isn't it crazy? Yeah, it's really crazy. It's man. gorgeous, yeah. Okay. And park, try to park lower or what? We have to. So Nadim is here, and the entrance is literally right there. Here, there, and he can't make it. That sucks. Hey, but this was a good run, man. I wasn't even expecting it to make it this high up. Good job, Naders. Good job, little Kia. No, we're good. You guys are all flirting. Look at this. Look at these guys just throwing snow at each other. Like big, big schoolgirls. <laughs> so everyone's getting ready right now to board. We still haven't found a parking space. No. So we're, everyone's parked down there. The summit is actually up there. Um, but everyone's putting on their gear so that, because Nadim's car can't make it all the way up. So we're gonna find some parking and uh, get that guy parked and then we'll move this guy up, further up. And somebody got hurt. It's always fun till someone gets hurt. <laughs> and Bart's fucking hot. I mean, he's hot and he's temperature hot. They say that this is the most snow that they've seen in years. That's like about five inches. I'm oh, sorry, five feet. Why did I say inches? I'm tripping. Flu and Brandon. First time. First time snowboarders, but you guys look fly as fuck though. You look like you really know what you're doing. I have no idea. But you look like you do. <laughs> they're on the they're on black diamond right now. Just kidding. Down the bunny slope. They're gonna kill it though. You don't want to try snowboarding, Tony? No. Oh careful, careful. Ooh. Alright, there they go. They're like my children. I'm like 
a proud mom recording them. Yeah, they knew absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right, there they go. Ihole. There you go, Lou. <laughs> I hate that part. <laughs> King of mobility. What's up, y'all? I'm with Joe here. What's up? And our ski lift stopped because probably someone fell off. But this is the first annual Barbell Brigade retreat, and we're spending it at Big Bear. And I'm really excited because I haven't snowboarded in like five years. So this is the first time, and I've been wanting to snowboard, but it's been hella busy. So I haven't had a chance to. Do you like snowboarding? Fuck yeah. When's the last time you snowboarded? I haven't snowboarded in like two years. Like it got busy, huh? Yeah. Have you, uh, were you proud of the female during that time? I wasn't, I was 205 when I first started snowboarding. Oh shit. Yeah, and I'm like 250 now. So you got an extra 50 pounds you have to worry about. Hell yeah, but this board feels light as fuck though. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah, so the board feels light, but my legs are meant for like one to three reps. So we're gonna go on our uh, first actual long run and uh, we'll see how well our legs hold up to cardio. All right, next up we got Churl and Spracklin. It's going fast, watch out. Churl, you gotta let go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You guys are crazy. Too Oh. That's pretty smart. Thanks, dude. Yeah, have a slingshot. True, homie. Mark Bell slingshot or not? Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, next one we're waiting for is Nadim and AA Ron. Where's Nadim and AA Ron? You guys will get ready first over there. I just want to get Nadim and Aaron. Oh, okay, never mind. Do you see them? You see them coming up or not? All right, next up, we got Nadim and Daddy Play Run. Let's go, Nadim. No pressure. No pressure. You gotta let go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who do you scratch you? This is uh, Nadim's and Aaron's first time. And they're already going on like a, a pretty advanced slope. They're freaking crazy. I thought I was yelling at you. I was like, "Spike it!" I thought <laughs> this is the good. stupidest one to start with. <laughs> but you guys started with another one all, all the way over there, right? No, we didn't do anything. No, didn't do anything. Oh, this is the first one? Yeah. yeah. No, you told me you went on that one. No, I said this is the first time we're gonna <laughs> do first, anything, first, first and you're like, "Fuck it!" Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> so this is the first one. Yeah. yeah good luck, dude. Man. Huh? <laughs> There's only one way down. Right here. Hey, I've done it before though. The first time I snowboarded, I was like, fuck the bunny slopes. And I was like, afterwards, I'm, I'm gonna go to the bunny slope. Oh, yeah. So you can do this and then go back to the other one. Oh, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> nice. Let's go, Bart. Oh, I got caught on the side. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 shit. I thought it was all cool. <laughs> Oh, shit, my quads are sore. Oh, my quads are sore. Oh, oh, my. Oh, I have to take a break. My quads are sore. Oh, shit. Oh, my quads are sore. 
So I left the guys snowboarding and I made it to our cabin and check out our cabins. Pretty damn cool. So first of all, these are our neighbors here. Look at all this snow. It looks like there's like about a good foot. I mean, unless that was flat, then that looks like a good like 20 feet of snow. But I guess I'll go according to this little mountain. It looks like it's three feet of snow. Um, so this is our cabin here. There's a garage, three space parking. Let's walk inside. There's Mike. Mike's the owner. Psych. I thought you were FaceTiming yourself. I didn't even see the camera. No. This place is fucking crazy. I know. Look at all this snow. Look at that. Cute. Look at these real life icicles. I've never once in my life experienced this. I'm going to take so many Instagram pictures for this. I want to break one off. I'm going to do that later after I take my picture. Fair enough, fair enough. Little yeah, swing. To the house. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> Little bear ready to fish. Then, oh no, my feet. You want to wipe your feet or wipe wipe your paws? All right. Oh fuck. Nothing. I think Tony lost his phone. All right. So here's the first bathroom. Let me turn on the light. Not much of a light. Wait, there's. That's it. That's the only light, this thing. All right, let me mess with my settings. Hold on. Okay, so it's wowzers. Well, hi, that's bathroom number one. Let me close this door. Okay, cool. We have a pool table. Uh, let me fix it one more time. Pool table, couch, lounge area, uh, fireplace, nice TV. I love all these shades, but like check out what the house is made out of. It's just wood, like raw wood everywhere. Or not raw because it's been treated and stained, but it's like tree trunks. Look at this, it's like a cabin. Like, this is the look I was going for. So when I got this on, uh, I rented this on this site called HomeAway, which is similar to Airbnb, but for some reason HomeAway has just better deals. These are the windows. Here, I'll pull back a little bit more. Um, I saw this house and it wasn't my first choice. Cause I'm like, ah, oh, it doesn't have the lake view. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have all the other amenities that I wanted, like a bigger backyard. Now that I'm here, it's beautiful. Here's a spa. Look at this. Oh, fuck. It's really bright. Look at this. Look at my backyard. This is real life, guys. It's so cool. All right. Now, dining table. Kitchen. With bar stools. So this is the first floor. And then over here we have bunk beds for the, the kids. And then we go downstairs where the carpet starts. Pretty. What? No laundry detergent? Oh no, we could buy some. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's intercoms to all the rooms so you can call all your rooms. Check no. Ryan, go to the master bedroom. Can you hear me, really? Yeah. Are you pressing anything? No, I went hands-free. <laughs> That's cool. So this is Mike and Ren's room. Thanks again. <laughs> hey, for, for the record, she's the one who snores. No. I sleep like a baby. She snores. Snorer. Really. All right, we walk down here. And then let me... Here are more bunk beds. Whoa. Tony's going to be kicking it. Um... Tony, don't get too comfortable yet, because I think there's more snores than non-snores. So I think it's Lou, Aaron, Nadim. We should probably put them in this room. We'll talk about it later. 
Uh, and there's another bedroom here. And then they have a little backyard here, which they can't really utilize because it's covered in snow. Let me see this side. Oh wow, this is huge. Oh great, this is cool. And then, do -do 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 -do, just big mirrors. Don't know who's gonna be in here yet, but it's gonna be two dudes definitely hugging each other. This is Bart in my bedroom or the master suite. I have a fancy, fancy comb. Hmm. hmm. I don't wanna use that. Very pretty stuff. I wouldn't leave that here if I was a house owner, but that's their choice. Uh, fireplace, which I definitely want to fucks with. And then this is our our little viewing area, but it's dripping wet. And then the bed with a million pillows. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pillows on this bed. Completely unnecessary, but very beautiful. And then look at this door. Okay, I see you door. Beautiful. Check out this bathroom though. Wait. There you go. Look at this bathroom though. You couldn't even whistle. What's this? Wow, this is beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Whoa. Stop it. <sighs> okay, stop. There we go. Okay. Look at this tub. Look at this tub. I fit in this guy. I never fit in tubs. Look. Oh my god, I'm taking a bath tonight. I never fit in tubs ever because I'm so long or the houses that we rent or whatever are just not as bottom as this one. But yes, I'm so happy. Oh, look at this and then Bark could kick it here too. Oh my god, it's gonna be so fun. And look at us! That's us! That's Bart and I! Oh my god, I'm definitely the one that's scrubbing between the toes. That is me for sure. So fucking cute. I... Yeah, and then you just have your standard shower. I love this bathroom, actually. I think this is my favorite part of the house. The bathroom. Yep. And that's our house. I love it. So many bears. So much wood. This is beautiful. I love it. So we are in the middle of having dinner, and dinner consists of a lot of finger food, and Lou has been killing it at Chef Louie. Check it out, everyone's here. We just played pool. Chef Lou hooking it up, killing the game. Everyone's been hitting him up for his secret recipe. Right now. His secret recipe. What's the secret? Love. Oh! <laughs> the bicep pose. <laughs> we had bought like so much food, and it's all gone now. We just like to eat, huh? Text for you, like. Yeah. What text? From like churro. Oh yeah. So churro. Was a designated like snack gatherer, and I'm like, hey, what do you guys want me to bring? He was like, avocado, onion, carrots, broccoli, um, pumpkin pie, cookies, hot Cheetos. I was like, what the fuck are you guys freaking on something? What the hell's going on here? And they got like really specific. <laughs> the team's so dumb. Look at his dumb face. There it is. <laughs> All right, well, we're kicking it, we're chilling. Everyone's having a good time doing whatever it is that they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. But we're bonding. Okay, go, there we go. We're bonding, we're being all cute. Lou's hooking it up still. Okay. I can feel my face when I'm with you. But I love it, but I love it. Oh, I can feel my